See, want to thank the Lord for bringing her here to this camp. Our life in South Sudan has been so bad. She was uh, selling fish in the evening. I want to get a torch. I was surrounded by soldiers. And then he see, had guys who were putting bullets in the chamber. They quickly said, get out, get out, get out. Then when I tried to come out, and then they put a gun on, me, on, my, on, on my soldier. And I was strong enough to, to still hold back. That don't fear those who kill the body and never kills the soul. And he started putting the gun down here and want to kill me. And he said, Jesus Christ, help us. Then the man stopped. That is when uh, God started helping us. And she prayed that she want to leave South Sudan. They, why they left that place, there is no rest. Every time there are problems, there is no way that you can do anything. You are scared of your life, you are scared, people scare you, and you are terrified every day. They, and the, 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 the government doesn't want, not want anybody to carry anything, bringing anything across. See, let me take the Bible. If we could, if it could not be the Lord, I think we could have not be able to come here. But the Lord sustained us and protected us in all this situation. There is almost nothing that we brought in our hands. We came empty-handed. This is how hard life is because most of the things we had in our homes, we left them behind. When we got here, we asked God, You have brought us here. Let your word be planted here. Let us start the church here. For our sitting here and being here, it is the call of God. If it is not because of the protection of our God, we could have not been here. Thank you. God bless you. She is called Makulata Anyanzo. Mandeko. Mandeko. She is not tired.